Hi everyone, this is Firan and welcome to Study Windows. Today we are going to learn the real numbers. To know the real numbers, it is very much necessary to understand the numbers first. Now let's see introduction 1, 2, 8, 60, minus 10, minus 15, 0.5, 3 by 8, 0, 10i, 5 plus 7i, root 17, pi. What are these? These all are simply numbers. Now, if you observe, few numbers is like 10i, 5 plus 7i. Here, i is equal to root of minus 1, which is imaginary number. But 1, 2, 3 by 8, point 0.5, 8, root 17, minus 10, 15, 60, 100, 105, 1000, all numbers are real number so number is classified into two group one is real numbers and another one is imaginary numbers we all know the number line here zero is the origin and all right hand numbers are positive like one two three four five and so on and left side of the zero is negative minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five and so on and this is the real number line and there is one vertical line as well above origin 1i 2i 3i 4i and so on and below zero it is minus 1i minus 2i minus 3i and so on so these vertical line is imaginary line and today we are going to discuss about the real numbers so we will not consider the imaginary line we will only consider the real line so real numbers right side is positive and left side of the origin is negative and the number between this 1 and 2 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 all numbers are real numbers it may be fraction it may be 0.5 or 1 by 2 it may be in, it may be in root 2 so all these fraction and every numbers in this line are real numbers see the number line it is a horizontal line where 0 is the origin right side is positive numbers left side is negative numbers now real numbers real number is classified into two groups one is rational number another one is irrational number rational number if we can write a number in p by q form where q naught is equal to zero then it is rational number if we are not able to write any number in p by q form then it is irrational number let's take easy example for understanding rational number two by three so it is p by q format 5 by 8 it is also p by q 0 0.5 0 0.5 means 5 by 10 so it is also p by q root 16 root 16 is equal to 4 we can easily write p by q in the same way 7 minus 15 this is all we can write in p by q form 0 0.9 repeating this one means 95 by 99 so these all are rational numbers and irrational number we can write in p by q form like root 3 is equal to 1.732 so you can say that 1.732 means 1732 by 1000 so it is p by q but actually it is not because root 3 is equal to 1.732 is the approximate value if you calculate root 3 is equal to 1.732050081 and so on so we cannot write it in p by q form and pi we also know that pi is equal to 3.14 it is not the actual value it is the approximate value so in actual it is 3.14159 and so on so we cannot write this pi in p by q format so it is irrational number in the same way root 6 minus root 13 these all are irrational number that means it is not is equal to p by q form so these all are irrational number rational number we already learned that p by q where q not is equal to zero now rational number can be classified in few form integers if you see the number line these all numbers are integers you just keep in mind it should not have any fraction it should not be 0.5 or minus 10.8 integers doesn't have the fraction whole numbers if you see the number line from zero to all positive number is called 
whole numbers. It also doesn't have any fraction. Natural numbers except zero. All positive numbers are natural numbers, but it doesn't have also fraction. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These all are natural numbers. Now, if you observe two, three, five, seven, these all numbers are divisible by the same number and one. If you take example five, it can be divisible by five and one. If you take the example seven, it is divisible by seven and one. So these two, three, five, seven, these all are known as prime numbers, which doesn't have any other factor other than this same number and one. And if you observe four, six, eight, these all numbers are made of multiplication of prime numbers. Like four is equal to two multiplied by two, six, two multiplied by three, eight, two multiplied by two multiplied by two. So these all are the multiplication of some prime numbers. These four, six, eight are known as composite numbers. Natural numbers is classified into prime numbers and composite numbers. Now we'll take simple example for better understanding. So this is the normal uh, schematic if you see here 0, 1, 2, 3.5, minus 1, minus 4, 2 by 7, 9 by 2, root 2, pi, these all are real numbers. And if you see number line, you will see here 0 is the origin, 0.5 is between 0 to 1, root 2 is just after 1, e, pi, 9 by 2, here 2 by 7, here 2 by 7, minus 9 by 2. So these all numbers are in number line. So these are all real numbers. 1, 2, 3, 0 0.5, minus 1, minus 4, 2 by 7, 9 by 2. These all numbers we can write in p by q format where q naught is equal to 0. So these all are rational numbers. If you see number line, so it is like that. So these all numbers we can write in p by q. Now root 2 and pi, these are we cannot write in p by q format. So these are irrational numbers. So we can see this in number line also. If you will see pi e minus root 2 minus pi minus e all are irrational number in number line. Now 0, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 10. So these all numbers are integers. The numbers in the number line are known as integers which doesn't have any fraction. And 0, 1, 2, the numbers like 0 and all positive numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are known as whole numbers. In the number line these are whole numbers. From 0 to all positive are whole numbers. If we exclude 0 then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on all are natural numbers. So in number 9 this is the natural numbers. Now 2, 3, 5, 7 these all are divisible by the same number as well as 1. And their factor is only the same number and 1. These are all known as prime numbers. But if you see 4, 6, these are the multiplication of some prime numbers. Like 4 is equal to 2 multiplied by 2. 6 means 2 multiplied by 3. So 2 and 3 are prime numbers. So these are all known as composite numbers. If you like study windows, like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell icon. Check it out our next video. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe our channel for latest updates.